A lot of the people inside the Hennepin County Jail haven't been convicted of a crime yet. They just weren't able to raise the cash to go free until their next court date. Under the cash bail system, thousands of Minnesotans, including Minneapolis residents, suffer in jail before their day in court. Mayor Jacob Fry is leading the charge to end the cash bail system for low-level misdemeanor charges in Minneapolis, except for people charged with domestic violence and DWIs, and replace that with social services to make sure that people make their court dates. When you look at that, it's $150 that separates people from their families, from their jobs, from the community, from their houses. Now somebody said to me, hey, Croman, I'm never going to get arrested, so why should I worry about somebody sitting in jail until their next court appearance just because they can't raise the money? Well, one big reason is the cost to you, the taxpayer, for holding somebody who doesn't really need to be in jail. Right now, the city pays Hennepin County $144 per night per inmate to house suspects awaiting trial, money that could be spent on services helping people stay out of trouble. There's really good research that being in jail for as little as 48 hours makes it much more likely that a person will commit a new crime. The event was hosted by All Square, a cafe that's gained national attention for employing former offenders, people like Ronnie Jackson, who has seen how cash bail can tear families apart. They get out maybe two weeks later when they could have got out that same day and kept their job. In Minneapolis, John Croman, CARE 11 News. Mayor Fry's plan is part of his overall 2020 budget pitch, which has to be approved by the Minneapolis City Council. Now, he said the cost of social services will outweigh the tab for keeping those people in jail.